what's goody i have beach hair and i'm gonna tell you something that you might want to not want to hear ah. <laughs> Now this is looking crispy as all hell. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me today. I'm just gonna be talking to you. Just something I always think. Don't take this too personally. It's just take it with a grain of salt. This is just something I have figured out throughout the years. Do with it what you will. I also have this mochi that is like it's literally just mochi like it's like the outside of like mochi ice cream that you would eat but it's just a mochi bar. so i will continue to eat my watermelon later and i'm just gonna be talking about being used and like using people because sometimes well in my life people have been like oh like i've lost friendships over people thinking i'm using them or sometimes i feel like people are using me this has really helped me to understand wrong and tell me if I'm a psychopath, I don't really know. Everyone's using you. But people are using each other for growth and for like evolution, for leveling up. Every partner we have, romantic or friendship, it helps us grow into our best self. We're using them to find out more about ourselves. We're using them for our expansion or we're using them for more earthly things like maybe to use their pool or maybe i don't know whatever everyone is using you for something we're all using each other nothing has no purpose in this life everything is helping stuff grow like i believe that there's like a the goal is unity the goal is whatever so if the goal is something everything is using something else to grow or to do something so it's not just doing nothing or maybe the conscious things are using things. The key is to use things consciously and consensually. Make sure it's so windy here. I'm sorry if it's super windy and you can't really hear what I'm saying. So you need to make sure that when you're using people, you are using them for what they are offering. And you're also using them for pure reasons like to find out more about yourself or maybe a relationship with a teacher you're using them to grow <laughs> it's all to grow to learn maybe a relationship with a clerk at the grocery store you chat them up you put a smile on their face because they don't get much interaction all day genuine interaction and then they give you a discount and that's the mutual Other ways we use each other, work, in relationship dysfunction, there's a lot of ways that we use each other to fill voids and needs that we don't have in our lives. Like, if I can't break up with my boyfriend and I believe that he'll change, but to everybody else he's a completely different person and a horrible example of what a loving boyfriend should be, and I don't break up with him because I believe that he is good, that I'm using him. To... <laughs> I'm using him to prove myself that I'm right and I'm using him to give myself an excuse to not be wrong. Other ways of being used, I feel like as an empath or like a spiritual person, everybody's an empathetic. This is a human trait. But as someone who like is willing to talk about this stuff with people, I feel like people use me to vent and like get their spiritual questions out or their like search for truth for me through me i feel like that is also my purpose on this earth kind of so i like being used in that way it fulfills my soul contract for them to use me in that way so i'm okay with being used having someone ask me a bunch of shit and get real deep and then moving on i don't feel used i feel fulfilled i don't know i feel like there's a way to make using conscious and consensual because I feel like in this universe there's no right and wrong there's just agreement my friend Tamir told me that the other week and I was like yeah that's probably true as long as two parties agree it's pretty much right unless someone else is being affected by it ways that this can help you or like ways that you can apply this practically are like if you feel like you're being used then you are if you feel like you're being used then take a look at what people are using you for and maybe start putting 
different vibrations of what you can offer people because people will take what you offer they do want to use you for what you can offer them you are a valuable asset and a gift to this earth and to everyone who meets you so if you feel like you're being used for wealth for example are you putting that foot first when you meet people is that what they are seeing your value as when they first meet you and is that what they're assuming they can use you for maybe try being more conversational or i don't know i feel like you can figure it out for yourself but if you feel like you're being used for your scholastic ability <laughs> people are only fucking with you because you are smart and you do their homework for them then is that something you're offering is that something that you maybe put forward and put forth and boast about. I'm devil's advocating myself right now because like, I'm like, okay, but what if that's your natural gift is your scholastic ability, is your school, your nerdiness. And what if that's like the thing that you put forth and you're still getting used by it and it's bothering you? Well, I feel like that's applicable with me with like beauty, I guess, or like, yeah, like I will get like used for Looks. I guess that is my like strength that I put out there. It is something that I'm like, I think I'm pretty. So it is something I'm good at, I guess, that which fit into the other school example, but uh, for comparison. But it has bothered me when people like only see me as pretty. But I think that that's a sign that this fucking truck. But whenever I feel like that, it's when I'm not really using my voice very much on like Instagram or whatever. Like, you know, whenever I feel used for my looks, it's because I'm not using my voice and I'm not pushing forward my other ass and specs. So maybe if you're being annoyed that people are using you for one thing, it's a sign that you would like to portray different facets of yourself and that's something that you can move into and it can be a fun and exciting journey that's pretty much all i have to say thanks so much for watching this it really means a lot if you made it to the end of this and i want to help people and i'm figuring out how to use my voice and it really means a lot because i don't want to be uh seen for my beauty or used for my beauty anymore only but know your strengths and use those girl to can round about everything else push you off and get everything Hello! Ah. Shooting in the Prius. I'm gonna go. But I really enjoyed you watching this video. I hope you liked it. And let me know what else you want me to talk about or if you like me just spilling my random thoughts. Okay, bye. Have a good week. Thank <laughs> you.